<laughs> our failed fishing trip turned sightseeing. I slept and fell in the mud. Oh my gosh, look how many birds I have on me. I know Andy's sitting underneath a tree. They're falling right now. Underneath the, oh, the amount of people is insane. So there's a storm coming in, so I don't think we're gonna be hiking at all. I just got up. I was so tired. I got up earlier, like six something, and then I just fell back to sleep. Just dozed off. And... So this is the campground we're at. And it was a bit cold last night, not too cold, but we stayed warm. And the plan for today is to go trout fishing. It's a bit cold out today. It's like in the 40s, maybe in the low 40s. I'm wishing we had a fire, but I don't think we have time. I got up too late. I forgot a hat. I'm, my head's freezing. All right, well, it's been a good time at camp, and we got some sleep, but now we're off to go fishing. We're going to the Yakagani River and a few of the tributaries down here. I'm with my friend Andy, and we're hoping to catch some fish. He's been out here before, I have not, but we'll see how it goes. One thing about this area is a lot of the public land, it backs up to the private land. And there are just some cows standing on the edge of a small cliff. You know, you see some interesting things out here where the private land meets the public land. At this point, we had been looking for a place to fish for close to three hours, and we still couldn't find anything that wasn't on private land. A lot of the land in Western Maryland is either private or restricted for fishing. We were looking for a place where we could catch and keep the fish, and eventually we found the perfect place, or so we thought. Well, it looks like we made it to the Yakahaney River Lake, and we're gonna see if there's any fish here. We've been looking for a place to fish for a while, and this might be it. It was starting to get pretty cold back there in the shade and now we're out here in the you know in the open sun and it's nice and warm and I'm feeling great. I really hope we catch some fish. I'd much rather have them. Is it the burrs? Uh oh. You don't want to get burrs stuck all over your clothing. It's really uncomfortable. And what's even you know the harder part is getting them off. Is this the right way, Andy? Is there a better way to get over here, you think? Got to turn around. We've gone the wrong way. Okay, I am getting burrs all over myself now. They're down at my ankles. Good grief. Ooh, do I see cliffs, Andy? When you see cliffs, that means that there could be deeper water next to the cliffs where you know the, the fish like to swim down deep. So we're hoping that those cliffs are in the river. This trail's a lot better, not nearly as high, and I'm not getting burrs all over my legs like I was. It's looking like the cliffs are in the river. I'm getting burrs all over myself now. The grass is getting pretty deep, but I hear the river, and that's what's getting me excited. I'm going through chest high grass now, at least waist high. I need a machete, I should have brought a machete. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. It's exactly what we want. The amount of birds in my pants is crazy. It's all cracked and dried. Yeah. I'm trying to get these burrs out of my pants. At least the big ones that are hurting. I think it's time to put a bobber on to the spin rod and a fly because we're gonna be fly fishing with a spin rod. Let's see if that works. It's so clear here. It's very clear here because it's really cold and so it's cold year round and so it doesn't have the chance for algae to grow. Okay. We're gonna do some stuff. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Well the only thing I caught was a ton of mud. I slept and fell in the mud and my legs and my legs and my hands were caked in mud. So I think I'm gonna head back to the truck. We're not catching any fish here. I don't know if it's too shallow or what's going on, but we're gonna get out of here. Okay, we made it back to the truck. We got a lot to clean up. Oh my gosh, look how many birds I have on me. 
We have so much mud. Look at my hands. Caked in mud. The burrs. There's, there's mud on my boots everywhere. Oh man, it's bad. Look at all the caked on mud. Well, I'm not sure what we're gonna be doing now. I'd like to find a different place to fish. Um, I'm definitely not going back out there again, but I'm gonna fly the drone out, see what Andy's doing, and uh, hopefully we'll find a different location or find something else to do. Well, once I sent the drone out, Andy called me and told me that his fishing rod was missing. We both spent a while looking up and down the river for the rod, me with the drone and Andy on foot. But our best explanation is that the people who we saw upstream decided to borrow it, permanently. All right, well, we've kind of given up on the fishing at the Yakahaney River Lake or whatever, but uh, we're gonna have some hot dogs and some food and hopefully not get sick because they're not exactly that cold anymore. All right, I got my sharpened stick ready for hot dogs. Now that is a good bratwurst. Uh-oh. It's cold on the inside. <laughs> cold on the inside. We decided to get out the titanium pan because it's just a little easier That's to cook, isn't it? One thing that we've had to be careful of in this area is there's lots of these nuts. I think these are walnuts. They've been falling all around us and we've been hoping to not get hit in the head. I know Andy's sitting underneath a tree. They're falling right now. Oh my gosh. They're falling all around. Andy's trying to stay out underneath the, oh. Oh. Okay, I'm safe. That's gonna dent up your car. Dude, no, that's not good, man. What the heck? Well, we're finishing off the rest of the hot dogs. We're gonna be out of here, head somewhere else. Well, we didn't catch any fish where we were at, but we might look for some other places to fish. However, we've set our directions and we're heading off to Dolly Sods. I think we're gonna watch the sunset there, perhaps. It's very... We officially made it to West Virginia and we're on our way. We have about 50 minutes to Dolly Sods. Driving up into Dolly Sods and we're almost at the Sods. The amount of people is insane. Forerunners, all the forerunners and dogs and stuff. Dude, what the heck is it slammed? This is no trail I want to take. I don't know if we're going to be hiking. There's way too many people out here. So this might just be more of an adventure on the road. <laughs> Our failed fishing trip turns sightseeing. That's what Andy says. <laughs> so there's a storm coming in, um, and it's coming in, I guess, from the west. So I don't think we're gonna be hiking at all. All right, guys, well, I don't know if there's gonna be a lot more today. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. If there's anything else, I will tell you guys.